Potassium iodide as an ionic compound. Look at the picture of the potassium iodide. You can see two types of particles. Each one has a different colour. We added potassium iodide to hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a colourless liquid which breaks down over time. We sped up this process using potassium iodide as a catalyst. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down to form water and oxygen. When add soap, the oxygen that is made is trapped by the soap and creates bubbles. The methane fireball is a simple experiment, but it is very dramatic. First, the person's hand is soaked in water. Secondly, bubbles containing methane gas is made by passing methane through normal soap water. As the methane comes through, it bubbles up through the liquid and makes methane bubbles. The bubbles produced is collected on a person's hand and lit. Methane can bust so fast that the hand is left unharmed.
The hydrogen pop is a classic experiment used to demonstrate the properties of a very cool gas, hydrogen. In this experiment, we use magnesium and hydrochloric acid. This produced hydrogen. To see if a gas is hydrogen, light a splint and paste, place it near the opening. It will let out a squeaky pop. The iodine clock experiment requires a lot of preparation. This is because the solution can change colour from clear to purple-black in a split second. This happens because starch is turned dark by iodine. Starch is a very common compound. We find them in bread. The experiment involving the splint being lit on fire and put out, then relit again, is caused by two gases. Carbon dioxide puts out the flame, and so if we place, li if so we place light splint near the opening, it will be put out. So what was the gas that relights the splint? That is oxygen. Oxygen is the substance responsible where, 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 whenever anything burns. We call this combustion. To test for the presence of oxygen, we use the glowing splint test. If you place a glowing splint near the opening, the splint will relight. This happens because the oxygen gas supports combustion. We put, a, we put out the splint by placing it near the carbon dioxide. Then we lit, this, lit it again by play, placing it near the oxygen. And you can continue doing this over and over again.